Parshishmos Sheni. The Aliyah opens up by telling us that Paro summons Yocheved and Miriam and says, what are you doing leaving the Jewish babies alive? And they respond back that, listen, the Jewish women, they're pros at this. So before we even get there, they're able to have the baby. And as reward for this, the Pasuk tells us that HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave them batim, gave them houses. And Rashi explains that means that their schar was that they were given kahuna, levia, and malchus. Kahuna and levia, of course, went to Yocheved with the birth of Aaron and Moshe. And malchus went to Miriam. Now, at this point in time, the astrologers tell Paro that the savior of Kali Yisrael is being born today, and they're not sure if he's Egyptian or if he's Jewish. So Paro comes out with a new decree that all male baby boys that are born, whether Egyptian or whether Jewish, need to be thrown into the river. And the reason why he was in the river, because they saw that he was destined to have something negative happen to him through water. What they didn't realize was that that negative was going to happen to Moshe through the main Mariva much later on in the story. Bilia goes on to tell us how Amram, who was the Gadol Hadar, took back his wife, Yocheved, whom he had separated from because of the decrees of Paro. Yet his daughter Miriam had said, you know, Abba, in a certain way, you're worse than Paro. Because Paro only decreed against the boys, but by separating from your wife, you are decreeing really against the boys and the girls, against bringing in any children within Kal Yisrael. And he listened to this, and he brought back his wife, and she conceived, and she ultimately had a baby. And when that baby was born, there was this special light, the says Kitovhu, that he was good. The special light, Rashi says, came from this baby and she hid him for three months. Now the reason why that was so was because this baby, who we know was Moshe by the way, was born prematurely, was born at six months, and the Egyptians would keep track when a woman would conceive, and after nine months they would come, expecting that the baby is going to be born, and then they would take the baby and kill them. So, but this baby was born for after six months, she was able to hide him for three, but after three months of hiding, she had to do something. So Yocheved takes the baby, puts the baby into a basket with some protection around it, and puts the baby into the river. Now at this point in time, Paro's daughter was bathing by the river, and she sees this basket, and she opens it up, and she finds this baby in there. And the Pasuk says, Vatishlach Masa, which literally means that she sent her maidservant. But Rashi explains that means she stretched out her hand to reach the baby, and there was a miracle that happened. Her hand actually stretched a few amos further than possible, and she was able to get the baby. Now Miriam, who was watching this the entire time, goes over to her and says, can I help you? Can I take him to a Jewish woman to be able to nurse him? Now the reason for this was as follows, because the daughter of Paro actually tried to get Egyptian women to nurse him, but we know that Moshe wouldn't take from them since he was destined to talk to the Shekhinah, he would not take from the Egyptian women. So she realized that he needed a Jewish woman and she says to Miriam, go ahead, and I'm even gonna pay you for it. Go ahead, take him, find a Jewish woman, and I'm even going to pay you for it. And the Aliyah concludes by telling us that the daughter of Paro raised this baby and she named him Moshe from the words Ki Min Hamayim Mishisuhu because he was drawn from the water.